Happy Sunday, everybody. We have a few mods to take a look at, so let's jump right into it. Post Nuclear Outfit by Newer Mind 43. This is a mod joker outfit with a hood, mask, bracers, gloves, outfit, jacket, and vest that you can have. And although there is a small clipping issue on the back of the head, which I'm sure will be fixed very soon, it's a very nice outfit and I think that it fits pretty well in the world of Fallout 4. Now while there are several customization options on how much outfit you can have, only two of them are really appropriate for me to show on YouTube because they do remove the shirt slash pants from the character. So if you're into that, then you're into that, but if not, then there are options available for you. The Kite's Handmaiden Outfit by The Kite and Niero. Uh, pictured as the 4K textures, the absolute best you can get from Niero's Gumroad page. This is a amazing railroad trench coat, gloves, hat um, set and outfit uh, that you can change into several colors, several configurations, coat lengths, uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. What you're seeing here in the background is me customizing and looking through all of the options available. I'm very pleased with the amount of like suit colors that are possible, uh, but I'm going to go with an enclave to start. Uh, the outfit, you can, again, remove the pants uh, or the top, and it kind of just leaves it open and gets covered by the jacket if you choose to wear the jacket. Again, if you're not into something like that, then obviously you wouldn't use that option. Um, but, you know, there, there are options in case that's the kind of character you want to play. Uh, the beauty about role-playing games is you can play whatever kind of character you want. So if your character is loose with their body, uh, then, you know, that's, uh, that's fine. If your character is a little more conservative or a little more... Know, protective of themselves then they might not choose to do that but that's the beauty of a game like Fallout 4. So as you can see that previous one was a little revealing for my taste so I decided to go back and do the pants and shirt option. Uh, I did go and look at them before I decided to continue recording this section and it did turn out that I only liked the pants and the shirt option as far as uh, being appropriate for YouTube or what my normal uses are. Uh, but the pants and the shirt look fantastic so that's not really an issue. Uh, that said, the different lengths of coat are very nice and much appreciated. Uh, you know, if you don't necessarily want to be wearing a trench coat, you can still wear just sort of like a waistcoat or basically a vest. Blucher Saber by TH1098. This is a Persian sword. Uh, it's a very nice curved sword. Uh, it does about 72 damage at level 135. And it can be upgraded to effectively double that damage and make targets bleed. So I just ran around for a bit, and uh, you know, as you can see, the sword handles really well, and it's very nice. Um, I, I didn't find myself having any reach issues, which sometimes I feel like I have with melee weapons. Uh, and it definitely did a decent amount of damage, and actually this VAT shot coming up is really nice, because I just take the guy's leg off. And I wasn't even aiming for his leg, but there it goes. Bye-bye, leg. Uh, yeah, that's the great part about melee weapons in Fallout 4, is you could take off limbs and whatnot. And I know you can shoot them off, but, you know, it just feels really fun to do it with a sword. So, if you guys liked these mods, I'd appreciate it if you left a like down below and subscribed for more future videos like this. I do Fallout every Sunday, and sometimes even more often if there's a particularly amazing and in-depth mod that comes out. Uh, but, until next time, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.